Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Drive and Academy, and today we're going to give you three steps on how you can determine your trucking lifestyle. Now, if you're looking to get a CDL license and become a truck driver so you can drive one of these things and make a whole lot of this green stuff falling down right over here, deciding what type of lifestyle that you want is super important. But the first step with anything that when it comes to lifestyle is going to be set your goal. What is your target? Like if you were just to draw things out and you were able to wish anything that you wanted to wish, what would that lifestyle look like? How much money would that lifestyle cost? How much time are you looking to be home versus traveling? And all of these are different questions that you should be asking yourself when you're in and deciding what is your actual target and what's your goal. If you're coming up to me and say, Jonathan, the most important thing to me is to make money. That's I'm going to give you a certain set of instructions and a certain set of direction. If you're coming up to me and say, hey, Jonathan, I want to make good money, but I want a nice balanced lifestyle. I want to be able to stay home with my family. I also want to be able to travel. Or you can be on the other extreme. Hey, Jonathan, money is not the most important thing to me. I just want to have this thing, whatever that thing is. And then that direction is going to be a little bit different, right? So take some time and ask yourself, okay, what kind of lifestyle do I want? How much home time do I want to make? And what is more important to me? Is it the lifestyle or is it the income right now at the, my stage of life? Depending on what stage of life you are in, depends on how you're going to answer these questions and what type of problems that you actually are having right now. Because the cool thing about trucking is if you just dedicate on just focusing on one thing like money, you can just focus on that one thing and make sure that everything that you choose is to help you make as much money as possible. With that being said, now step two is going to be understand your options. So when it comes to trucking, it's pretty much going to be three different options. You're going to have what's called over the road uh, driving, which means you're traveling all over the country. So from coast to coast, north to south, east to west, diagonals, uh, all the different squiggly lines, anything that you can imagine on this map, that means over the road is possible for you. The second option is going to be something called regional. Here you're going to stay within your region, which means you're going to be home usually on a weekly basis. So if you're on the East Coast like we are, you'd be up and down the East Coast. If you're in Texas, Texas is like its own country. So that being said, regional work could be that you're just staying within Texas by itself. Um, but you get the point, right? And that's going to be like a hybrid where you can make good money, but you're also good uh, home time as well. And then the last option is going to be something called local routes. So local routes are going to be maybe you live by a port, right? So the port workers are going to drive to the port and come back to a yard, drop them off. Or make, maybe you're making local deliveries for a big company like Cisco Foods, making maybe deliveries to different restaurants or maybe local deliveries to warehouses, furniture deliveries, things like that. Those are all local routes. Now there's pros and cons with every, every single one of them. And that's why we're going to take it into step three, which is going to be analyze. So step one is set your goal. Step two is understand your option. And then step three is actually analyze and make a decision. Now, let's talk about over the road. If you're somebody who says, hey, Jonathan, I just want to be able to travel the country. I don't have anything tying me down and I just want to make money all the time. Over the road would probably be the best option for you. The cool thing about over the road is you get paid by the mile, which means the more you drive, the more you actually get paid. That being said, if you're going to go with the second option, which is going to be regional work, that means you're going to be home on a weekly basis or so, and then you also get paid by the mile, but you're not going to be making as much as over the road, because over the road you're traveling thousands and thousands of miles every single week, and you're probably going to be home once or twice a month type of thing. And when it comes to regional, you usually are home on weekends or at least once a week, uh, which means it's going to restrict how much time you're actually on the road, which means your income is going to be down. So if you want like that medium, hey, I want that adventure of traveling, I also want to make great money as well, um, and I want that balance of home time, then maybe regional is the best option for you. Now, if you want the third option, analyzing local work, that means that home time is the most important thing to you. If you're like, Jonathan, I need to be home at least once a day, every single day, then definitely go with local route. Now, you can still make great money doing that, but you're going to get paid by the hour, which means you're somewhat capped on how much you can actually earn because there's only so many hours in a day, right? If you're going over the road, the more you drive, the more efficient you drive, the safer you are, that means you're actually getting paid more. When it comes to local, you're somewhat capped. That being said, you're going to sacrifice that by being home every single day. So it's pros and cons, especially in the beginning. Now the cool thing is, once you have two or three years experience on your belt that are in your considered safe driver, then it's pretty much income level is pretty much similar around all the different uh, sectors. So you can have a very specialized local job making great money and being home every single day, or you can make even more money being over the road and traveling on this uh, specialized route as well. 
because the more local you get, depending on the city that you're in, the more skill sets you're actually going to have because now you have to dock into all these, imagine New York City docks out there, right? All these professional truck drivers have to do that and they're going to be making more money doing that as well. So I hope that you understand these three steps on how to choose your lifestyle, which is set your goal, what's more important to you, money or home time, make sure you understand your options and then analyze and decide. Now, if you want more help about getting your CDL license so you can make this actual choice a reality in your life, I definitely invite you to come on down to our school, any of the locations near you, and check out our website, cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com. We're here to help you get on the road to freedom. And what we define as freedom is somebody should have options to pick from, and the CDL license is going to give you a whole lot of options so you can design the future of your choice. Hope to see you soon one day and let's get you on the road to freedom. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.